I've been perusing the boxing community, mostly comment sections of these various videos, kind of trying to see what the people are thinking about this upcoming Crawford Madrimo fight. Doing a bit of uh, market research, I guess you could say. And people are smitten. People are in love. And it, hey, it could be for all the right reasons. Maybe I'm just a hater. But I mean, personally, I think the Terrence Crawford hype is out of hand. I think it's out of hand. When it comes to the boxing public, uh, I don't want to say casuals because I'm a casual, but the fans. But if you listen to what some of the pros, former pros, have to say, it's not so cut and dried. Not to them, anyway. I mean, some of them are smitten, but some of them... I tend to agree with. It's not an easy fight for Terrence, for either guy. Even these guys here, right? Two of whom are professional dick suckers. Yeah? None of them. None of them have Terrence Crawford pound for pound number one. They think he's great. Obviously, they think he's one of the best. Top three, two for some of them. But none of them think he's the best boxer in the world. And these people, definitely the one in the middle and the one all the way on the right, they're under the influence. I mean, those, those dudes are just belligerent drunks. But I would say all of them are under the influence. Now, question. Let me put it to you this way. And this, this, this is a question I'm asking you to ask yourself. Don't, don't come over here bullshit me. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Just, just be honest with yourself. Ask yourself this question. How many rounds would that Errol Spence that got in the ring with Terrence Crawford how many rounds would he go with Madrimov? Obviously, I'm assuming the fight doesn't go to the decision and Spence gets stopped because, I mean, he couldn't take a fucking jab. Can we just... Is it okay to keep it real sometimes? The fucking guy couldn't take a jab. Very much like Kel Brook, and we know what the deal was with that guy. Yeah? How many rounds? I don't think it goes nine. That doesn't obviously mean that Madrimov beats Crawford, right? Because he's going to have to beat the referee and the judges. I get it. And maybe he's just not good enough anyway. I don't know. The thing that might hurt him the most in this fight is just lack of professional experience. Over 12 rounds. And the fact that he just seems to be coming into his own. He's improved massively. I was never... I was keeping an eye on him, watching some of his better fights. And forgive me for not remembering the Soro fights uh, very, very clearly. The first one was controversial, not the second one. Anyway, he's improved tremendously this guy and he's now doing some high level shit in there that I hadn't seen from him before when it came to fighting for a title he was like a completely different fighter than what I've seen in the past and I don't think a lot of people noticed and this being yet another step up and a massive one at that this dude's gonna be ready now yes I know I'm assuming it's a real fight but I mean it's Riyadh season, baby. Didn't Turkey Al-Al-Sheikh say Crawford is his 
one of his favorite fighters? No, I'm not much into curses, but would two instances make one? Hmm. Guess we just gonna have to wait and see. How many rounds? Ask yourself. Six, seven? Wouldn't surprise me if it were two. One? The guy couldn't take a punch. Okay? He couldn't. And then, before that first fight ever happened, if you were paying some attention to the negotiations, it was reported that Spence and Bud had signed a rematch clause for a rematch at 154. And then when it came to it, Bud was demanding 147. He said, I, I got all the belts now. Nah, 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 nah. The same way he was poking fun of at Kel Brook, who couldn't drink any water after that way. Rubbing the fact that he was drinking his sports drink in his face. Yeah. It's it's true, Max Kellerman. He's a spiteful guy. He is. Why didn't he want to fight Spence at 154? Make another $25 million. Probably wouldn't have been that much, given how poorly Spence had performed. But, I mean, you know, come back in the next six months and be sharper for this one, right? You're going to be the favorite, right? Look, I, I don't know what happened. I'm not there. I do recall it being reported that Crawford said, nah, uh to 154. He didn't want to fight a stronger Spence. He liked nice he liked him nice and weak. That's how he likes him. He's a mean guy. And I know in this lead up he's been saying, you know, we picked Madrimo, because we see him as the best guy in the division. Well, that second part might be true, but nah, he's lying. And he just told on himself in an interview recently. He wanted Fundora. That's a huge ma. I don't imagine he's making the weight very, very well. And another thing about Spence, I mean... I don't think I've ever mentioned it because I get tired of talking about this shit. You know what I mean? But Victor Conte was on his ass trying to get him tested, right? Publicly shaming him to get him into the VADA, VADA program. While at the same time, snacking it up with Terrence, right? Those of you who follow this channel, you know what that means. Bitch Tits was, well, <laughs> no longer himself. <laughs> he didn't look it, did he? That was one of the reasons why, I think. One major reason why. So, no, this wasn't Crawford's first choice of opponent. And I'm not... Either, whichever title holder he would have chosen in his first fight at 154... I think it's commendable. I don't care. But I'm just saying, it wasn't his first choice. So, I was listening to Tim Bradley, and I don't often agree with Tim, but to me, it seems like he's a... Uh, Feeling the pressure for his boy, Terrence Crawford. He uh, he might not be saying too much, but he knows this ain't no fucking Spence. Weight drain, drug drain, Spence. He knows that. And that was his, people think anyway, his best opponent to date. Now, Terrence Crawford clearly got skills, but he's also hittable. Now, he is hittable because he's there to knock you out. I get that, but still, he's hittable, and he's hurtable. He just, um, 
if he doesn't get there first, then, you know, in a lot of instances, he usually tends to get there second, actually. Yeah, but it's kind of like with Tank. The opponent just can't take it, right? These guys just can't take it. What if Israel can? So, yeah. I think Tim Bradley's feeling the heat a little bit for his boy. He's not going to pick against him. Not many people would. I'm not sure I might. But I, th I think Tim is uh, doing a good job breaking down this fight a little bit, at least from the little bit that I've seen. Shout out to Timothy Bradley. Next time you give an interview on the fight, mention the 10-ounce gloves that Terrence Bud Crawford is going to be fighting in for the first time ever in a professional ring. Add that to your analysis. Help help the noobs out a little bit. Um, I think it's a significant thing, factor. I mean, Madrimov can knock fool silly with them gloves on. Can Crawford knock fool silly with them gloves on? Bigger dudes that I'm assuming this one at least won't be weight trained. Why would he be? He's about the same size as Bud. He looks strong at the weight. I've never seen him hurt. I get it. He hasn't really fought that level of opponent. But Michel Soho, he, he could punch a little bit. I've never seen the dude even so much as stunned. And he's added trickiness to his game. But he's also a gambler. Madrimov. So, wouldn't surprise me if this was a knockdown drag out one of them. Wouldn't surprise me at all. And I think people are good fighter, all right? You know, when you use these words that start with the letter O sometimes or H. Instead of listening to what's being said, people get into their fucking feelings. But yeah, Terrence Crawford is a good fighter. Very good fighter. One of the best in the sport today. And at the same time, overrated. I get it. He's got the job done, and he's done it in an impressive fashion. But when you just... Look past the names and look at the actual fighter in that fucking ring. He ain't never fought nobody. And when he had a chance to, Pacquiao, he refused. He didn't want a healthy Spence. And this wasn't his first choice. So let me ask you again to ask yourself. I don't want to give a shit what you think. Well, I mean, maybe. What do you think Madrimov does to that version of Errol Spence? 